Rob, um, it felt like this was kind of maybe fair to say the best performance for the offense so far this year in terms of moving the ball um, and getting points. What did you kind of see out there that allowed you guys to have success offensively? Uh, we were all we were all locked into the game plan. Uh, everybody was making plays for each other, especially Cam. Cam was, you know, going off script and don't, doing what he does, and Kia was just there to the ball falls in his hand. He makes plays. What was the feeling like of getting your first touchdown uh, in Martin Stadium on that little uh, shovel pass? Uh, it was definitely surreal. A lot of stuff has went into it. And uh, I just burst of emotion, especially my family in the stands and everything like that, too. Through your first two games here, obviously you were scratched for the uh, Idaho game. Just how are you personally feeling coming off of your first two games? Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm still trying to get in the groove of things, you know, coming back from injury. It's tough uh, just getting plugged in right away. But uh, I'm coming back um, about 100% now, so. Um, I, I asked the question, you were in the room with, with Francisco, just, done, you know, up two scores, five to play, and then losing. How do you flush this, and does it take longer to flush this as a game that I'm sure at some point in time you thought we're going to win this game? Um, I mean, it's tough to flush any loss, but especially when you're up by a score or two with five minutes to go, it's tough. Like, we just have to finish. I bet you that's going to be a point of emphasis this this week is to finish every drive, every game, defense and offense, even special teams. Talk about the crowd and, and what, what they meant to you guys today. Coach talked about it, just your reaction to, to, the, to the noise and, and the atmosphere. Yeah, the crowd was great. Love the crowd. Uh, helped us on defense, helped us on offense. Everybody was squirming. I mean, the offense was hard to like hear each other, so the false starts and then the defense, uh, they also can get their calls in. So, I mean, the crowd really played a huge factor, and I hope that we bring it back next week. Uh, what's it like coming from Incarnate Ward, playing with Cam there, to a D1 division where you're in a stadium full of 40,000 people? Is there uh, confidence going in with Cam, or is it kind of all just nerves bundled up at, at once? I mean, last week I was real nervous because it was my first time being on the field and hear, hearing the crowd and then, you know, just getting plugged in. But this week I kind of settled down, and having Cam back there is also nice because we have a chemistry on and off the field. Is there a different kind of connection? Like, is it helped – uh, connecting Cam to other receivers as well is coming in with a prior uh, relationship with him? Um, I wouldn't say that it's helping him connect with other people, but I'm also getting trying to get people in spots so that that's also boosting you know, the chemistry between him, Strib, him and Don, him and Nard, even Link. Yeah. Robert, we, uh, you said you got some family here today. Who is mm -hmm. here watching you in the stands today? Uh, my mom and dad came down from uh, back home in Reno. They drove down about two days ago, so they try to make every home game, which I really appreciate it. So, and then you know we saw Cam making some crazy plays, the, mm -hmm. the shovel pass, the toss to himself and stuff. I mean, has he always been been like that, being able to make plays like that? Yeah, he's just a magician out there, especially outside of the pocket, off script. I I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. How do you think uh, Cam will respond to to a moment like the uh, the pick six there? Is, is he pretty strong mentally? And have you talked to him uh, since the game ended? Um, I mean, I talked to him on the sideline. Uh, he was up. He wanted to get the ball again. I mean, he he goes down like you know like everybody walking off the field, and then he starts to get everybody involved again. Like next play up, like you can't you can't dwell on the past. Rob, I know athletes like to say, you know, we don't treat any game differently than any other mm -hmm. ones. But when you consider this was a, a nationally ranked team, mm -hmm. you guys are und were undefeated, mm -hmm. got the whole country watching. Did, did you see this as a little bit different, an opportunity to, to show people what you were all about? Um, I mean, there was a lot of hype behind the game. But if you go into, like, thinking that this is a bigger game than any other game, uh, you tend to get anxious and start messing up and stuff. So... I didn't go in thinking anything else, but it's a game. I mean, Oregon, of course, they're a national platform. So, I mean, it was great to play them.